Uh, Carl, congrats on the goal, but um, frustration seems to be the word of the day, is that right? Yeah, no, absolutely. The boys really hurt in there. Um, we give it a good go, but it just wasn't meant to be today. We thought we got into good positions. Uh, we just didn't capitalise on it enough and threaten their goalkeeper enough, I felt. But uh, it's a learning curve, it's the second game in. Uh, we've got another game to put it right Monday, so that's a good thing. Uh, obviously, they get a man sent off no. relatively early on. Gary Johnson says that he got the ball. Um, you're the man that got brought down. Did he get the ball? Absolutely not. Um, I was quite surprised. I thought he was going to let me sort of take control of the ball and he'd seen him come across me and he just took my body out. No, I didn't even touch the ball before he did, so there's no contact from either of us on the ball, he just cleaned me out. Were you inside the box or just on the outside? Uh, I think, to be honest, I was outside the box, but yeah, I did land in the box, but yeah, I think it was outside the box. So they go and get a goal, and everybody said it's a sloppy goal. What, yeah. In your perspective, what happened there, and what was the discussion like at half-time between Connell and, and Sam in particular, because it seemed to be both of them were looking at each other on that one. Yeah, I think it was just a bit of miscommunication. Uh, they're both really frustrated in there and sort of saying it's their fault. But at the end of the day, it's a team game. We stick together. Um, I thought the fight was good to get back into the game, but uh, I felt we could we could have given more in that final third just to cause them a few more problems. Is it a sign of where this football club is that drawn today one all, albeit against a Torquay team that didn't have a couple of their better players from the start, they came on near the end and I mean we're down to 10 men albeit from the 25th minute but is it a sign of where this football club is and what the optimist, what the expectations are this season of how disappointed everybody is after that one? Yeah we had a meeting at the start of the season and everybody knows the expectations, where we want to be as a team, as a club, um, yeah but uh, it's frustrating to take, but all we can do is go again. Um, I felt we didn't start the game as well as we can. I mean, if you look at last week, it was an amazing performance. Um, but that's the standards we've got to set as a team. Um, obviously, we're not going to go and win every game 5 0 or whatever, but if we keep doing the right things, the right principles, what the manager wants us to do, um, this side can go a long way, I'll tell you that. Uh, two goals in your first two games for the season, though. How important is that for you as a striker who thrives on goals to go off a mark early? No, it's massive, it's massive. Um, Last week was a nice one, for like you say, <laughs> probably the easiest goal I've ever scored. Um, and I was really pleased that one came off today because uh, me and the gaffer and the boys, we've been working on that sort of movement in and around the box. And uh, it was a great ball from Chicks and uh, it was a nice header. Uh, like I say, just frustrated. We didn't give that extra push and sort of cause the goalkeeper a few more problems in the last like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, in this time in like 48 hours or so, we will be uh, in Wrexham for what is yeah. going to be a real kind of blockbuster game, yeah. Bank Holiday Monday night. Yeah. One day's rest in between, how does that sound to you? I think it's crazy to be honest, uh, we've only played two games in and then we've got another game Monday, uh, but it's the same for everyone. Uh, I think it'll be a big, like say, a big test, obviously everyone's talking about them, they're investing a lot of money, uh, but we're going to go there and give it a good go and do a job and like I say, it should be a good one, it's on telly, so uh, no straight away we'll prepare prepare for that in tomorrow and uh, yeah, ready to go. There'll be some atmosphere there I imagine as well and knots will take. A lot of supporters over yeah. there on Bank Holiday Monday, just like they did down to, to Barnet last week. What was it like to be here again in front of what was nearly 7,000? So the biggest crowd since before COVID. Right. No, it was incredible. Uh, some of the boys, uh, they know they've been here and they know what it's like. So uh, obviously it can cause problems for the referee as well. I think he was getting a bit of stick <laughs> at some point. But as you see last week at Barnet, the fans were amazing. What a turnout it was, nearly about 1,100 fans. You can get that again at the next game. They're going to be right behind us and all the boys will love that and uh, we appreciate all the support we get and uh, no, uh, we're looking forward to the game Monday with them there. Personally speaking, you're vice captain now. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how have you come to that role? How did it happen and, and how's that changed your responsibilities around the football club? It didn't really change much to be honest. Uh, I had a few conversations with the manager, he liked the way uh, I manhandled myself, man, uh, uh, managed the players and uh, said I'm a really good role model for the, this football club and uh, I really appreciate uh, those words from him. Um, but yeah, not a lot changes. I like to show what I can do and lead from the front on the pitch and if I keep doing that, we've got a lot of leaders in this team. Jim, I, might, I might be vice captain, Carl Cameron might be captain, but there's if you like to Jim O'Brien, Connor Rawlinson, Sam Slocum, there's a lot of leaders in the team. So we've all just got to stick together and uh, everyone's got their input and say, but no, it's a good group, we'll stick together and uh, yeah. Give it a good go Monday.